Hey everybody, this is Don with a new troubleshooting tip. Today I'm going to show you how to do a workaround when you're trying to build something with OpenSSL on a newer version of Mac OS like the one that I have. If you're following a build instruction that you've got from a repository, you're just doing make and expecting everything to go along and it seems like it's building, but then you get something like this OpenSSL RSA.h file not found or something else that might be in the OpenSSL package. If you got OpenSSL through Homebrew like I did, it'll come with this message, but you can also see by saying brew info OpenSSL and it'll give you some advice. It'll tell you to add OpenSSL bin to your path. It'll uh, advise you to export some environment variables that provide access that are supposed to provide access to the lib and include and then some extra package config path stuff. Now even after having done that I'm still getting this OpenSSL RSA.h header file not found error. So I haven't found a great perfect solution for it yet but I have found a little workaround. Now, what I did was, instead of going ahead and fixing the top-level makefile in this repo for Crystal, which is a browser for Gemini and Gopher, which are a couple of protocols I've become interested in, uh, I'm not going to add the include and uh, lib paths here since the actual meat of the building happens in a make file that is built by QMake. And that file, that make file, is in my case in this build directory. So There's a lot going on here. Got the include path, got the L flags, and those are where you're going to want to add the include and the uh, lib link. And I already have a, a copy of this lib of this excuse me this make file that I already have, so I'm just going to copy that in, and I'll show you basically what you would want to have typed. And as you can see in the include path uh, that has uh, been added to the make file that QMake has generated by the top level make, I've added an extra include line which adds the includes that are buried in the user local opt open SSL directory that was created by brew when I did brew install OpenSSL. And then in the next one, in the L flags variable, I've done the equivalent by adding the same lib directory that was installed by brew when I did brew uh, install OpenSSL. So let's see how that goes now. Now this time note that I'm in the build directory, so I'm using this uh, performing a build directly on this make file that was generated by QMake. So let's see what happens now. And now we've got a successful build. So let's see if uh, we've got a working build of Crystal now. And there you go, it opens. And of course, this being Crystal, this is a uh, pretty cool new thing, I guess actually a new old thing. But as the uh, as I demonstrated 
if you if you're on Mac and you run into a situation even after you've installed OpenSSL uh, with Brew and you've followed the instructions, maybe you just need to go into the make file and hack around a little bit. Anyways, I hope uh, hope this was helpful and I'll have some more troubleshooting and some other lessons coming at you guys soon.